G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, it's Friday afternoon here in Australia and I've found some interesting things on the charts. So first of all, market cap, still sitting around that $400 billion mark. You know, it'll go up a little bit and it'll go down a little bit. Uh, gas prices, 30, not too bad. They've been worse, uh, they've been better. They've definitely been a lot worse anyway, uh, but they've also been better. But here, the BTC dominance continues to climb. Now we're at 62.2%. I still think we're going to get to about 65 to maybe even possibly 75%. And that is what's leading me uh, to believe that I think Bitcoin is going to continue to go up. Uh, and it might even push up slightly over this weekend. But I think everything else is going to bleed off generally. You know, there'll be a couple of outliers. Of course, there's something that'll do something random. Uh, and I mean, we can just have a look. What's been the biggest move in the last 24 hours? So here we go. We've got a few things that have moved. Nothing really too majorly. Let's have a look. What about big losses? Well, here we go. Synthetics token, 24 hours, taking a really big hit. I'll get onto that. Yearn Finance uh, dropped even more. Reserve token, so we have some really big losers here. Aave, Compound, uh, you know, Uniswap. So basically anything that had a really good pump early on is now just... Everyone's taking the profits out and they're starting to panic uh, and put them into Bitcoin. And look, if you're in profit in something and you're taking it out and putting it into Bitcoin, that's probably not a bad idea. But if you're selling it at a loss, well, again, I'm not offering financial advice, but you know, you'll know, you probably lose uh, putting into Bitcoin as well because Bitcoin could pull back. But we can see here, like, you know, Aave, uh, I invested in that. That's really taken a hit. Synthetics Network, invested in that, really taken a hit. Still in profit in both of them. Uh, what else we got? Ren, uh, taking a bit of a hit again. I uh, invested in that, still in profit. Uniswaps absolutely killed me. I thought I was getting in at a good time, but it just continues to drop even more. Uh, Algorand, I think I'm sitting almost sort of break even at the moment. So again, and it's not that I'm trying to fud on any of these projects at the moment. I still believe in them, but yeah, they're obviously taking a hit and I think they're going to drop some more, to be honest. I think Bitcoin is getting ready to go on another run and it's just going to suck up more of the market. I think we're going to be at 65% uh, Bitcoin by next week. Uh, exactly when next week, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty confident, and I, I reckon Bitcoin will go on another run, uh, possibly next week sometime. Uh, we could have a pullback on the weekend. Uh, traditionally, we do on weekends, so that's what I'm waiting to see. But I think Bitcoin will get on another bit of a run next week sometime. Uh, and this will start to boost up to around about yeah, 65% uh, percent and above. I think uh, Bitcoin, so if we go back to Bitcoin, sorry. I think Bitcoin cracks 14,000 uh, sometime next week. It could be late next week. It may be even be Friday. We could have a, you know, somewhat substantial pullback uh, over the weekend and then I think we start to quickly move our way back up. But look, I could be wrong. We'll wait and see. That's just what my gut feeling is at the moment. So number one, let's have a look at Synthetics Network. So I was looking for a good buy-in point and I thought around the $3 mark uh, wouldn't be bad. We're currently sitting right at that at the moment. Uh, but here was the mark. I thought, you know, again, around about sort of $3.20 it might hold. And look, if we zoom in a little bit. It's not too far under it, but it has come down and it's broken this low here. So it's just continuing to set uh, lower lows at the moment. So now that we've broken through this, I'm waiting to see if this uh, this kind of trend will hold uh, and it'll stay within this. And then somewhere around about down here, which is again around $2.70 or something, uh, it then finally breaks out. Because I don't think it's going to stay uh, in this downtrend forever. But look, it could go a lot lower. This is the mark I'm looking for because it's had some sort of confluence here before. And these trend lines mark up uh, perfectly with it. And again, I drew... Uh, I drew this line here first and then the trend lines just happened to match up with it. So that's what's making me think we're probably going to get somewhere down to around about here. Pretty close. Uh, look, we could go lower though. So, you know, buyer beware. I'm just saying this is what I'm looking for. I'm waiting for it to break out either way before I make my move. I'm waiting for it to break out of this uh, before I uh, put more money in or I'm waiting to see it break out from here. And then again, I'm waiting for it to see a bottoming pattern and then... Uh, a reversal in the trend, so a trend reversal. Look, if this doesn't hold, so around about the $2.60 mark, 
this is where I'm uh, starting to look at. Maybe down around about $1.30 uh, will be my next buy-in for synthetics. And look, for me, I'm lucky. At, uh, at $1.30, I'm still doing well. I got in at around about $0.84 cents on synthetics. So, yeah, buying at $1.30, I'll be all right with that. Uh, you know, I'll still be in profit for all bar, I think, one or two purchases of synthetics network that... Uh, you know, and, and it was literally only a few dollars here and there, so my overall profit uh, will still be up, but it will, it will be uh, drastically down. I think I was at nearly 800% profit uh, when we we're up around here, and obviously now uh, it's way down, and I'm just waiting to see where it's going to bottom out. Now let's have a look at Ethereum. So this line, this support line that it's been following for such a long time, we are oh so close. Uh, I actually think this is going to break. I think we're going to break to the downside uh, and start to come through this and sell off. And I am looking for something down around here, around about that $230, $240 mark. Uh, I think, you know, Bitcoin, again, it's going to break that 13.8 level next week sometime. Uh, there could be a reasonable correction coming before that happens. But I think uh, it starts to suck up all the all the money and once we get to around about that twenty thousand dollar mark and so i don't think we're going to fall down to here overnight i think this will probably take a couple of weeks for us to sort of get down here but this is where i expect it to find sort of some support and we'll be around that kind of uh december-ish time i think and uh it'll probably bounce from here if it doesn't bounce before look it could come to around about sort of somewhere around about here so 270 dollars uh, and it finds some support but if not I am expecting to be somewhere around about here. Again, $240, $230 mark, thereabout. That might be the next uh, best buy-in point. But look, again, it could prove me wrong. This may hold. It may, you know, over the next day or two, start to move up again and start to try and retest that $400 uh, mark. But that is a real sort of key resistance at the moment because if we zoom right out, and just waiting for this to load, we can see this has been a pretty key kind of uh, place for quite some time. So again, 2017, it peaked here and then had a real stark sell-off. Uh, and then it used it as support when we really got into that bull run. And then it was sort of a little bit of support here. You could say support and resistance all at the same time. Came back a back above it and then drop below and we've just never really been able to break uh, above it and stay above it consistently since uh, August 2018. So there you go, we're already going on sort of two years. We got pretty here, we got pretty close here, not quite though, so $350. And then we wicked above it and it's been resistance. We jumped up above it, but again, this was a fake out. We've had two fake outs and then it was just resistance, another fake out. Uh, and now it is just acting as resistance. So I don't think Ethereum is ready to break this uh, at the moment, unfortunately, and I, I wish it was. But I just don't think it is. My bet at the moment uh, is Bitcoin. Like For me, not financial advice, just my personal opinion. Uh, if I'm putting my money into anything at the moment, uh, it's going to be Bitcoin. Because I think that's where all the money is going to be made until it gets to around about that $20,000 mark. I think everything else will just bleed off because people will be taking out uh, profits or just panic selling, whatever it may be. Uh, and they're going to be putting it all into Bitcoin. Uh, for me, I don't panic sell. Uh, I made all my positions, you know, my bigger positions a long time ago, and my bigger positions are all in profit, even the altcoins. Like I said, Synthetics Network still in profit. Uh, Aave still in profit. Ren still in profit. I got a number of, you know, my bigger plays uh, still in profit, and I don't think they're going to drop below the prices that I bought them uh, at back in sort of March. But I think they will drop down substantially until Bitcoin hits that 20000 once Bitcoin gets to that $20,000 mark, I think a lot of uh, profits and just money in general are going to pour back into the altcoins and that's when they're really going to start to soar again. So yeah, I'm looking for buy-in points for all of my uh, buyers uh, that did really well. And I'm still bullish on DeFi. I don't think it's gone anywhere. You know, people have sort of forgotten about it and moved on, but there's still a ton of money locked up in DeFi. Uh, it's just the platforms themselves aren't doing as well. People are taking those profits and putting them straight into Bitcoin at the moment. And look, that's probably my play for the moment. Although I will have some cash sitting on the side for when I see things start to change. All right, last but not least, let's get over to Bitcoin. 
So here we go. It's still steadily been climbing up. Now look, it's you know got some red days in here, but really if we draw a bit of a trend line, we go this wick, we sort of cut up that way. Bitcoin, it's still getting higher and higher. The lows anyway are sort of getting higher. The lows aren't getting lower. So I'm not sure if this is going to keep playing out over the weekend. I am somewhat suspicious that, uh, sorry, we'll get rid of that now, that we might have a bit of a sell-off. And again, come back down and test maybe this level, maybe even down here. It's possible, but I think sometime next week, uh, particularly with the uh, elections coming up, and you know, I think there's going to be a lot of exuberance once that sort of happens. And I think, if I'm correct, the... Uh, elections are on the 2nd of November or the 5th of November or something like that. Either way, it's next week, and I think things will rally. No matter what happens, really, I don't think it'll matter uh, who gets voted in. I think things will start to rally. Stimulus packages uh, will be talked about, and things will start to boom. And again, I still believe there's a ton of institutional buyers getting in at the moment, and that's why we don't see any major dips at the moment. Don't get me wrong, we can get 5 10 you know, 12% here and there, but we haven't had any major sort of 20%, 30% dips since back here. And again, back here, this is where we started to find out about the news of micro strategy and things like that. So they were buying sort of back in here and even some of it was bought in around about there. But then we got to here and ever since we've heard that news, we have had no major dips. Don't get me wrong, again, we get some dips like this. We are gonna have dips, they're not gonna disappear, but we don't have any major ones like this. And I don't see us having any more of them either unless there's something some bad news that comes out whatever it may be it could be anything there's no corona vaccine that's really going to hurt people are going to panic but look that may be something that pushes people into bitcoin as well uh you know a, a massive uh, market crash in general uh would probably still hurt bitcoin and don't get me wrong i don't think bitcoin is going to go from thirteen thousand down to three thousand dollars i think that's highly unlikely but we could see a reasonable pullback if there's some kind of, uh, yeah, financial news that really affects all markets. Like stimulus has completely stopped and they're tightening the budget and all the rest of it. I think you're going to see uh, people want to get into cash, at least some of it. But again, it could be the complete opposite. People may just go, oh my God, everything's getting really tight. What can't go down uh, and has a fixed supply? cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. So look, I can't really tell you exactly what is going to happen. I can just tell you what I think might happen. Uh, and look, I think at the moment, people are pretty bullish on Bitcoin, but that can easily flip, you know, it's just the same as the stocks. There's times where, you know, people have been super bullish on stocks and they all got all sold out of a lot of Bitcoin and got into stocks. And, and that's going to be how it is going into the future as well. People are going to be flip-flopping between the two. And the people who are really, really smart, and really talented, they're going to do it at the best times and make you know plenty of money. Uh, and then other people are just going to kind of get wrecked. But again, I, this is just my personal opinion, never financial advice. I still think Bitcoin's really cheap right now. In the grand scheme of things, if you're buying now and let's say you get in at 13,000 and it goes down to, you know, God forbid, maybe $8,000 or something like that, not saying it will, I don't believe that's going to happen, but it is a possibility. We need to keep it in the back of our minds. Let's say it goes down to $8,000. There's some big, horrible financial, you know, event that just kind of wrecks everything. It's only going to be in the short term. It's not going to be in the long term. Long term, things will always fix themselves and recorrect, uh, provided they're good projects. You know, shit projects, they will fail and they'll just disappear. That's just the way it goes. Good projects, they'll have their ups and downs. And I believe Bitcoin to be a good project and a num number of other cryptocurrencies as well. So again, if you were to buy at 14,000, 13,000, I still think that is cheap. Uh, and if you were to hold, I believe, again, personal opinion, I have to keep saying this, that in a decade, in 10 years time, you won't even care that one time, you know, you lost $5,000 uh, in profit or, or uh, 
total value from Bitcoin, but then again, you know, nine and a half years later after that, you would 10x, you know, 20x, whatever it may be. I think you will be well above whatever happens. Uh, I say this before, you know, if you can't handle these kind of pumps like this one all the way here, then you definitely won't be able to handle these kind of dips. And you don't deserve these kind of pumps if you can't handle these kind of dips. That's the way it is. You need to know the space that you're playing in. You need to understand it and what it's all about. You don't make big dollars without risking a lot. You don't do well in life without risking a lot. That's just the way it is. Now, there's definitely a certain level. You can't be overly risky. You've got to just be a little bit risk adverse. Again, you know, you do your own research, work it all out for yourselves, but people never made it big playing it safe. That's just the straight up facts. They had to take a gamble here and there. They just didn't gamble everything. I can guarantee you when Warren Buffett invested in a lot of the things he did, he didn't know for a fact that they were going to go to such highs. He just did his homework and just believed and I'm sure there were times where he invested in things and the price went down and he was probably panicking a little bit going oh geez if I made a bad mistake and you know just to, and am I going to lose it all for it to then just turn around correct itself and start to go back upwards that's markets in general the population keeps getting bigger people want more of everything things will just go up that is the general scope of things and again we just need to zoom out Bitcoin, uh, its market is no different to any other market in any other place. It's just because it's so new, it's so volatile. That's where the big money is made in you know new emerging markets. If you can find a new emerging market and you can get in on something good, you're going to make mega dollars. That's where the biggest money is made. But it's also where a lot of people get wrecked. Because it's new markets, it's not tried and it's not tested... Uh, you know, you can get wrecked very, very quickly. So I'm not saying grab all your money and go looking for, uh, you know, new emerging markets and dump everything into it. You know, you know, that's completely up to you. You make your own mind up. But to allocate a portion of whatever you want to invest with may not be a bad idea. But again, it's not like going to the casino. Don't just grab whatever you're willing to invest and go, right, I'm putting it all on black and we'll just see what happens. That's not really doing your homework. Things aren't going to turn from an emerging market to a mature market overnight. They take years to do that. All markets have done exactly the same. You will have time, but get out and find out what are new emerging markets, what are disruptive technology is out there these days. Read into it, take your time. If it takes you months or, or weeks or you know maybe even a year, then that's how long it's going to take. It's not suddenly going to become mainstream overnight. It just doesn't work like that. Bitcoin's not even mainstream yet, although it is going that way, and Bitcoin is like 11 years old. So that tells you how much time you've got. And, you know, again, if you were to get into Bitcoin over here and you bought it for $1,000, you know, and you, it took you, uh, let's say, about, you know, two years before you got in, this is what would have happened at first. You would have got wrecked and you probably would have panicked and sold. But if you've done your research and you believed and understood that markets do these things and you just simply held, well, you've gone from buying something at $1,000 to it's currently worth $13,000. So you've basically 13 x your money. And that's only in six years. Six years, 13 xing your money. Traditional markets, that is very rare. Only the truly gifted and lucky would be able to do that. You don't have to be uh, that gifted or lucky in cryptocurrencies to do that. Although, again, don't treat it like a casino. Don't gamble and just throw your money at anything. Do a little bit of research. The, the knowledge is out there. And again, you know, don't believe just one source. Don't believe just me. Don't believe uh, you know, any one sort of social influencer. And be mindful of social influencers. They've all got their biases, as does anyone. You know, if they're pumping something, you know, this coin to a million dollars, you know, they're doing it number one for the likes, and number two, they may have some bags in it. And even if they don't have bags uh, and you know skin in the game, that's how they drag you into. Uh, you know their channels and I don't want to make it sound bad because look I want people to watch my channel as well but just beware 
they're not the be all and end all. And most social influencers, uh, including myself, although I wouldn't really consider myself too much of a social influencer at the moment, but hopefully in the future I will be, I'm not a professional. None of them are professional, but they just have had some time in the space and have a good understanding. And I consider myself to have had some you know, reasonable time in the space uh, and have a bit of reasonable knowledge. I'm doing all right at the moment. Not every trade has worked, uh, but you know, I only need a couple of them to pay off and all the ones that didn't uh, pay off for me uh, will make up the difference and some. And again, not that I trade trade, I should say more my investments. Look, I've invested in things uh, at the wrong time. Uh, and again, I'm not throwing shade. Uh, Digibyte really wrecked me. Uh, I'm down about 37%. Unibright, uh, I'm down about 39%. Oh God, what else is there? Uh, th there's a couple others. Anyway, I've got a, uh, what is it? Uniswap, I think yeah, I'm down about 30% uh, at the moment, but I still like the projects. I still believe in them. I don't think they're going anywhere. It's just I bought in at the wrong time. I bought in right at there at a cycle sort of high, not the complete cycle. Again, it's just more something like, uh, you know, something like this. I bought in here, so now they're pulling back and they're gonna find their way to their bottom and then they're gonna to start to make their way up again. So I have zero doubt that in, let's say, 12 months time to 18 months time from now, every single one of those will probably be in profit. You know, I might be unlucky and there might be one or two that don't do well, but I didn't invest thousands of dollars into any of them. I, I built my position on the coins that I believed in and uh, at a fairly good time. And again, my biggest holdings is Bitcoin, then it's Ethereum, then it's XRP, uh, and then I go into things like uh, Chainlink. Uh, I don't have a lot of Chainlink, but I've got a you know a bigger size portion than some of the other altcoins that I have. Synthetics Network, uh, I got some Litecoin in there, uh, and again, I, I believe they will all do just fine in this next bull run. And some of those other altcoins, uh, again, if I only just break even with some of them. I won't be crying. If I lose everything in them, I still won't be crying. I didn't put that much into them. Uh, but again, I still believe in the projects. I understand the cycles. Uh, and this is just a repeat of what happened in 2017. This is not uh, really all that different. Uh, again, they're not never exactly the same, but they are different. So again, after the halving, had this pump, and then it fell down. And everyone probably got really worried. So again, we've had... Uh, this pump here fell down. Everyone got really worried. Now we're just back up to kind of where we were. So again, fell down, pumped up, fell down again, and then it pumped up and everyone would have got excited and then it broke into new all-time highs. Another big correction. So I think this is just going to play out again. This is all happening again from here. It's just starting here. It's just not gonna be exactly the same, but it's gonna be fairly similar. So anyway, that's my strategy and my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do you think that we're going to break the 13,800 next week? Do you think that BTC dominance is going to rise to 65 plus percent likely sort of next week, maybe even the week after? Look, I might be a couple of days off, but I think that $14,000 level gets broken within the next 14 days. I think if it's not next week, it'll be the week after. Do you think we might have a weekend uh, retracement? The stocks aren't doing too well at the moment. They've pulled back a little bit. So we could have a pullback. And if you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really helps my video get out there and get seen. Uh, and that's the whole point of this. I wanna try and educate people and give them my opinions and my advice. And that's all it is, just personal opinions and advice. Uh, and hit that subscribe button. I do videos every day. I almost never miss a day. but. Again, in saying that, I do have a life outside of this. Uh, I have a job and a family and all the rest of it. So there may possibly be days where for whatever reason I can't. But so far, I think I've only missed one day uh, in a number of months now. Uh, and my plan is to, you know, hopefully turn this into a living and I can just simply uh, produce this kind of material and better material into the future uh, and make a living out of it. You know, I couldn't think of uh, a better job than, uh, you know, doing videos and talking about crypto and all the rest of it. What a life. All right, well, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Look out for the weekend. There could be a retracement or maybe we just pump through, who knows. But I think 13.8, uh, or let's round it off to 14K, gets broken next week, possibly the week after. And I think 
yeah, again, all the alts are just simply going to bleed even more. And watch for Ethereum uh, to roll over and likely break under this, but I may be wrong. All right, I'm out.